All right, my name is Jed McKeon, and today we're going to talk about something that I hope you haven't had any experience with, and that is bond or bail amounts. This uh, comes into play when someone gets arrested and they are held with a uh, bond. Now, you may have seen Law and Order or have some familiarity with this. Let me tell you about what a bond is. A bond is an amount of money that you have to pay to ensure that you will appear at court and then if you go to all your court dates you get that amount of money back at the end of your sentence or court date or whatever ends up happening in your case. So let's talk about different bond amounts. Now in a show like Law & Order if you're charged with murder it may be something like a hundred thousand dollars or a million dollars. If you are charged with something like a DUI your bond is probably going to be about $1,000, maybe $1,500, or even $2,000. Now, <clears throat> do you have to pay that whole amount in order to get out of jail? And keep in mind, this is only to keep you out of jail until your case goes to trial, where you may end up getting sentenced to jail anyway. So when you pay that bond amount, you do not have to pay that whole amount, technically you can go and hire a bail bondsman. This is what they are licensed to do. And what you do is you pay them about 10% of that amount of the bond and they will come and bond you out of jail. So let's talk about a DUI. If you have a DUI and your bond is set at $1,000, you go and pay that bail bondsman somewhere in the range of $120 to $140 and you can get out of jail. That money is never returned to you. If you were to pay the $1,000 in full to the court, then you would get out of jail as well, and you would have the potential to get all of that money back at the end of the court proceedings. Of course, keep in mind, you're having to front $1,000 instead of just $120 to $140. So those are some of the th basics about bonds. Hopefully you will never have to experience this. But if someone calls you and says, hey, I got arrested, I'm held in jail, they've got me on a $1,500 bond, can you bond me out? You do not have to put up that much money for them. You just have to put up somewhere in the range of $100 to $150. For more information on this, these kind of things, uh, you can look me up at attorney-knoxville.com.